What up, guys? Fat War Six here, and welcome to another motor vlog. So the topic for the day, the topic for the day, man, is gonna be uh, what kind of bike should you take when you go and get your license, man. Uh, this is a topic that a lot of people need to know about especially new riders because I've witnessed it so what type of bike should you take and this is my recommendation you guys can do whatever you want but I've seen people or a person take a thousand cc bike first time rider and go and try to get your license with a with a thousand cc bike. My friends, I'm gonna tell you right now: if you're a first time rider and you're taking a thousand cc bike to go get your license, you're gonna fail. It's too big of a bike for the course. Not every state has a different course, but the course here in Kansas is pretty simple. You ride in between two lines for 14 seconds without putting your feet, foot down. You gotta swerve in and out of cones without touching any of the cones or putting your foot down. And they have a cone laid down. And you, it's supposed to be an object in the middle of the road. You need to swerve without touching the cone or putting your foot down. And there's another one where you have to apply the front brake and the back brake. Um, and don't go past the cone with your front tire easy steps but if you take a thousand cc bike like somebody I know did they took my they took my R1 out there and I told them you're not gonna pass on an R1 the, the the course they have set up is too big I mean the course is too small the bikes too big so and he fell three times and they told him to come back in six months and do it again. So, if you're gonna go out there and get your motor license, or motorcycle license, um, I suggest you start off on a smaller bike, just because it's gonna get you through the course. I know a lot of people who go out there on 250s and, and pass it. So, I've seen people go on there with 600s and pass it. But a thousand cc bike, you're not gonna pass. Unless you are familiar with your bike, which in most cases you're not. Or if you've been e uh, riding the bike um, and getting practice in, that's the only way you're gonna be able to pass it. But I've seen it happen, I witnessed it myself. And you will not be able to pass it on an R1. So that's what I, that's my suggestion. You guys can do what you want. But like I said, like, all, every state has a different um, riding course, you know. It was funny because when I took my bike out there, the lady told me that she shouldn't even let the dude uh, test on it because it wasn't legal. I said, wasn't legal? What do you mean, wasn't legal? Well, where's your turn signals at? And I said, they're right there. They're flush mount. Well, how am I supposed to see that if I'm across from you? How am I supposed to see that? I was like, I don't know. But I know it's legal. Get out of here. Tell me my bike ain't legal. Well, that's another funny thing because every DMV that I've ever been to, there's always that one snobby. I'm talking about gripey. Don't think you're getting anything at home from your husband. Just gripey. I don't know, man. You better go home and get you some or do something. I don't know. <laughs> damn. Like, I ain't never seen anybody so gripey in those damn places in my life. 
I have to go in there and tell her you ask her to grads. But anyways, guys, hey, if you enjoyed this video and uh, it, you think it's going to help you out, if you're a new rider starting out and you want to know how to get your license uh, and the recommendations, give it a thumbs up. You know, hit that subscribe button and uh, hit the notification uh, bell. That way you get all my videos that I post. Um, until then, guys, Fat Boy R6 is out. You guys have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next one. Deuces! <laughs>